Hey y'all, I learned this past weekend that fixing a compressor that runs but doesn't build pressure is not only possible, but can be a very cheap and mostly painless two-beer job. And I'd like to quickly share with you what I learned in regards to replacing the reeds on a compressor that's failing to build pressure. Oh, nice, look. So I tried to start with the simple stuff and make sure it had oil in it and at the correct level in the middle of the shot glass, that this intake wasn't clogged and that the air filter wasn't too filthy. Well, she seems to be sucking pretty good. And I even tried to drain the tank of any water or ice with the drain plug on the bottom. All right, that's stripped. And fortunately, before I got too depressed, a friend with more mechanical experience suggested I just charge right ahead into taking the motor apart. Starting with removing the top cover with its six 5 16 bolts, to get better access to the head of the motor. And with nothing to lose and everything to gain at this point, I just removed these four five millimeter Allen bolts and this three quarter inch nut on an airline <sighs> nice. and was easily able to remove the top of the motor, immediately spotting a cause to this compressor's issue. He was right. He said there'd be these little things here called reeds. That one is broken, so that's great news. Let's go hop on Amazon. This might be a cheap, easy fix. I can't believe I was going to throw this thing away. With that broken reed identified as the source of the issue. I just typed in the size of the motor for this Harbor Freight compressor on Amazon with the search term reed valve and I found this set. I measured the old size against the ones in the description on Amazon, and eight dollars and two days later, I was ready to give it a shot. Slide that one in there, and it looks like this other one slides on the head. Oh, fuck. Probably best not to drop them in the dirt. Uh, that one slides on there. Got that one on there. Oh, there's a gasket. This gasket's flimsy. Be careful not to bend it like I just did. I wonder what keeps that from moving. Maybe the bolts line it up. I've never really done internal motor work before. Look, washer. Washer. Oh, no, it will do. Maybe we'll put this like so. Maybe, uh, maybe that stayed where it's supposed to. And after I put it back together, it must not have seated correctly with my method because the compressor was now building pressure, but only 40 pounds. So, good news if your compressor is building some, but not all pressure, it could still be the reed valves. By the way, that's more pressure than before. Before, it wouldn't do anything. Now we got 40, but I'm starting to think I, uh, might have put that reed in wrong or. A little discouraged that I didn't do it properly. Oh, this one. This one. Hot, hot, take, oh. take. Hot. <laughs> I turned it over to the local lumberjack fixer of all mechanical things, and then he showed me how to seat these reeds properly on the head using the wiggle method. That one on the right has that groove. How do you know where to put the one on the left? Um, I'm guesstimating. And then I'm, I'm kind of thinking, wiggle it around a little bit, and it should find its, find find its, its hole hole in there so you're doing that by feel I guess it kind of seemed like I had it in last time well when we lifted up it looked a little crooked but yeah well maybe it's so. that'd be nice fuck all that I got an impact zipper said sender bud and on a quick side note I hope you're finding some of this information helpful and if you are do me a quick favor and give this video a thumbs up and after the compressor started to smell a little burned and was kind of slowing down building pressure around 90 pounds he was kind enough to remind me that the cover was very important to funnel air to the motor and keep it cool enough to build full pressure so i just reinstalled it and bam it was fixed and for those of y'all who are following along on the journey that was beer number 199 on my way to completing the escape power sports thousand beers of how to videos challenge so if you enjoyed learning about this quick cheap fix i'd encourage you to join the three to four percent of viewers who subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the money and time-saving videos and cool projects up at this mountaintop compound I'll be covering over those next 800 beers. I'd like to welcome you if you're new to the channel. I'm Danny with Escape Power Sports. I really want to thank y'all for watching. And as always, we'll see y'all on the trails. You should probably have your cover back on. That way the air is forced across the... Oh, to cool it? Yeah. Maybe it was just getting hot as fuck. Yeah, since it was needing no air whatsoever. Yeah. If we were oh, fuck off, motherfucking hey. fuck! Ouch! Hey. Yeah? That. Yeah? Is, is hot.